that super irritating moment when you put your belt through your belt loops the wrong way and then you have to go through and put it through the right way it's obnoxious anyway good morning everybody Kyle and stepdad just got back from Alabama so in just a minute I'm gonna go have a little hug sesh with Kyle and um, see what the day holds I have a whole entire day before I have to go to work I don't have to go to work until 6 tonight um, I'll be working uh, during the block party that we're having for the dirty cans of bike race and so I'll be there from 6 to midnight and I kind of hate it because I still have to like drive home that's like a 45 minute drive so I'm not gonna get to bed at a decent hour at all <laughs> hi Bile I was just gonna come say hi to you after I finished getting dressed no. It looked good to me. <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna do this, don't judge. I'm not judging. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, got it. <laughs> it's hard to see on the camera. But I'll come you can come and I'll come out in a minute. Exactly. So I was, I was uh, so as I was saying, I'm working a pretty interesting shift tonight. I remember doing it last year and it was not too bad. Um but like people keep saying we're gonna be open till midnight, but the schedule says eleven and I'm okay with being open till eleven because that means I'd get home about midnight. But I don't like the idea of being there till midnight, because then that doesn't mean I get home till 1. I'm just complaining. I really gotta stop that. I do too much complaining in my vlogs, but I feel like that's something I just wanted to tell you. So, yeah. I'm gonna finish getting dressed and ready so I can go out and be like a normal human being. And, um, yeah. I will see you throughout the day, I guess. I have to come over here and find a another Fitbit band because mine is breaking again right here like at the right here at the top of the plastic you can't really see right now but when it's off you can see it's like becoming I'm trying to point with my pinky but I guess I can't do that it's like that top part there you can kind of see that little gap at the top part of the plastic and the rubber band and um, I've super glued that once, but it's coming apart again. And you betcha I'm gonna super glue it again because I love my green band, it's my favorite. I just have to find my super glue, and that might be kind of tricky. So, um, until I find my super glue, I'm gonna use blue. Well, Lyle, how was your trip? I think you're just watching them. Good. That's good. Did you? Long? Mm -hmm. You weren't even gone that long. A week. Do you know what I really liked? Me not being here? No, I really liked that it was so dark in my room at night. That was rude. Are you going to tell the camera about anything exciting? What did you do? Where did you go? Did you have fun? Oh, okay. No. <laughs> that's, when you, that's when you do this little number to the camera. No, good morning, King. Oh. They have something hey. poking in their stomach. Hey. For the rest good morning. Of their life and good morning. Anyway, so oh, you're cute. Wait, I love you. Good morning to you guys. Good morning. She's got, she's got a bug in her ear. There it is. <laughs> yes, it's morning because it's only, it's not even 10:30 yet. So and I've been traveling for like four and a half hours. So yeah. When did you get up? Five. That's ridiculous. Huh. Get your nose out of my garage, okay. Hey, baby. What a cutie, cutie, hey, cutie, 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 cutie. You. Well, you, still, you got something in Sophie, here, what are you doing? Sophie! Did you miss Kyle? She says absolutely not. JK. Whoa, whoa, uh oh. Come on, vlogger, let's see you get it. See you fix your situation there. That was pretty intense. Don't underestimate my abilities. Let me 
Do Lunchables, turkey and American cheese and Oreos go good with a cup of coffee? Probably not, but uh, I'm freaking hungry, so that's about all I got. There's a hole in my turkey. It's kind of funny. It's a perfect hole. You can see right through it. So my Grammy just stopped by and went. she went to garage sales and she brought me musical spoons. Come on. You're being obnoxious. You don't even like it out here. here. They make really good sounds. You can like... I don't really know what to do with them, but they could be have potential to be fun. Tinka could play the spoons. What do you want? I'm just getting the wood pile. I'm gonna zoom in on your face, Tinka, because it's so cute. That sound you hear is a moped. <laughs> Folks, mopeds should not sound like that. But he is a little large and doesn't take care of his stuff. You could literally hear him coming. We live like three or four blocks away from the main street. <laughs> and you could hear him coming off of the main street. True. Mopeds should not be that loud. Casey's learning how to the use her spoons. Right here on the original box, okay? So we're gonna follow them. Okay. Hit spoons lightly in palm. Okay, we gotta beat going. We gotta beat going. <laughs> when I beat drops. <laughs> Hit leg twice. Hit leg twice. <laughs> then hand twice. <laughs> Spread fingers oh. wide and stiff throw oh. spoons across. So let's put this together now. That was okay. good, that was Thanks, good. Yo. <laughs> okay, so at this point, I'm pretty sure the neighbors hate me, and I need to put these in the box. When your box is broken, I need to put them in the box and leave them in the box for a while, and we'll come back to them a little bit later, because I don't want people to hate me. A few things outside today make me smile. Like that dog shit on the sidewalk? <laughs> well, no. But this yellow rosy bush thing, I don't know what actual kind of flowers it is, but I'm still surprised it's alive because Sophie like wraps around it all the time and like suffocates it with her little leash thing. But also this like green, bright green tree leave sunlight situation. It's really pretty. And and then oh. there's this dog poop on the on the sidewalk that Claire pointed out. That makes her happy. And, um, there's my sister. Oh, and this makes her happy that I didn't actually use dishes. Yeah, for her food. She just used a paper towel. I hate dirtying dishes. And then there's this. Hi, oh, Tinka. Where? I Tinka. see your booty. Booty, booty, booty. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Aww. Hey, fat dog. Except you're not too fat. Come here. Yeah, she is. She's making okay. me nervous. Look at Claire's new sandals. They're J's. Oh, sorry. Look at Claire's new J's. I was just kind of watching. I'll just have one toe. <laughs> Tinka! You're making scared me scared. scared. Oh, you're not going to wear your J? No. <laughs> your single J? My <laughs> Claire's making a matching J. This hack will change your life. <laughs> you for me? You for me? You need the next size bigger. Bam. I think. <laughs> You're welcome, <No>. America. <laughs> Are you gonna get up and walk around those? <laughs> they even got steel toes. True. I'll be right back. 
I really wish that it was possible to lay face down in a pillow and still be able to breathe because sometimes I don't want to lay on my side and sometimes I don't want to lay on my back. I always lay on my stomach, almost always anyway. I just wish that I could like literally lay on my stomach and face plant my pillow and still be able to breathe. Pizza rolls, pizza rolls, pizza rolls, pizza rolls. They don't look quite done yet. <gasps> JK, how long do I put the like seven more minutes? Molten hot lava oozing out of perfectly delicious not lava. That's the only good form of molten hot lava. Truth. Look at this tiny bowl of cereal. Okay, so here's what I have decided I think that I will do. That was really... Here's what I have decided I think. I'm going to take this um, completely clear 8GB uh, card and I'm going to set it up at work in our window and try and record sort of a time lapse of some people coming through the finish line of the event and kind of just watching the sidewalk in the street because I think that that could be really cool and since I can't get out there and walk around while I'm at work that I think would be a fun way to kind of see some of it. It is so hot in this car. My air conditioner does not work. It blows air, never gets cold. I tell you that all the time. Pretty much every time I get into the car. Okay, so uh, I'm getting ready to go to work, but I gotta get my sweet shades on real quick. Um, and I was gonna ask you guys. I have on my on my camera a very small. The microphone is on top of the camera, and it's very small and picks up wind really like crazy. And uh, I don't know how to fix that. I mean, I know that it's hard. But I see where you can like make your own like windscreens and things for that for um, onboard mics. But I don't know what the best way to go about doing that is. And I kind of have tried to look it up, but like I see a lot of um, like ideas for external microphones. But I don't know how to do it for an onboard microphone for my camera. I don't know how to attach it. So, okay, so anyway, if you haven't, the steering wheel is freaking hot. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comment section below. But for now, I have to head to work at 5 o'clock. I hope, to, like, finding parking tonight is going to give me some insane anxiety. We'll see how that goes. The fact that anybody ever didn't have air conditioner impresses me. Also, there was this terrible driver, for lack of more appropriate words. Um, and he, I'm going 60, oh, okay, I'm going 58 in a 55 mile per hour zone, and he passed me. He was riding my butt all the way, and, uh, he finally passed me, and I swear he was going 70 in a 55. Really? Calm. Just calm down. Damn it. I hate freaking impatient drivers. Even though I'm coming across as an impatient driver right now. I don't ever speed 20 miles over the speed limit. That's what I mean by impatient. Rant over. So I was making my last loop around the parking lot. Obviously not going to get a spot in the parking lot. And as I'm trying to get out of the parking lot, somebody's leaving right in front of me. So I got their parking spot in the parking lot. It's not a very close one, but it's in our parking lot. So that is phenomenal. This parking lot is so tight that, um, like, if people don't pull up far enough, like, you have to literally weave in between uh, in the aisles. But there's not very much room in the aisles, so it's a very terrifying experience. I don't like the traffic. I could never do it in a big city with crazy traffic all of the time. Never.
Okay, it's 1.19 in the morning. I just got home from work. I thought that we were closing at 11 tonight, but we ended up having to stay open till midnight because people just kept coming in. And the block party didn't end till midnight. And then it's a 45 minute drive home. Oh my god. I saw a lot of deer, a lot of raccoons. It was kind of scary. I haven't driven in the dark in a really long time. Um, but honestly, this vlog is going to get up, be put up a little bit late because I don't want to stay up any, late, any later tonight to finish it. And I have some stuff to do tomorrow, so I have to go back to Emporia tomorrow. Um, and uh, so I'm just going to, if I wake up early enough, I'll edit but I'm worried that this might not even get up till Monday. I'm not sure yet. But I was hoping to get it up, but it's just not going to happen. I, like, I'm just too tired. Um, people, okay, so the bike races started at like 6 this morning. And I left at 12.30 and people were still coming through the finish line. And people were ringing in at 16, 17 hours on a bike. I cannot fathom 16 hours on a bike. Okay, I'm freaking tired and I'm starting to ramble. So I'm just going to let you guys go. If you like this video and you like my vlogs, give me a thumbs up. I don't even have energy to put up thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. And subscribe if you're feeling generous. And I'll see you tomorrow.